Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at a chain binder from Titan Chain. This is gonna be a lever style. This is gonna work with 3 8 up to half inch chains. So I have a half inch chain here today. So let's get this put in place. I've been testing out a lot of different chains and binders with this mini excavator here today. And when it comes to the binders, there's a few different styles. You know, like the ratcheting binders. There's one that almost acts like a ratchet strap style from Convertible called the Tugger. Those are all really nice ways to go. And then there's this style. And this is where I don't really like this style. I can't get it tightened down right here. So what I need to do is come down another link and then get that tightened down. Now you can see I just went one link and how loose it was. I couldn't get it to that other style. And show that again. I am putting everything I have into this. Now I'm not the biggest guy, but I feel pretty confident that I could get stuff tightened down properly and I cannot get this one in place. So this is just not ideal for me. Obviously you could see right in between those two spots, I couldn't get it. So that's when grabbing a pipe. Now this is the only thing we have. You might be able to get away with something shorter. But what I'm going to do is, this was that link where I can't, can't quite get it there. So what I'm going to do is put that pipe on there to give us a little bit more leverage. And this is just one more thing you have to keep with you. And that's why I'm not a big fan of this style. Some people prefer them, but you can see a little bit easier to get in place there. And we have really tight chain now. Now when it comes time to taking that off, it's probably still a good idea to use this pipe to help out. It just, there's a decent amount of tension there. You can see how it wanted to jerk away from me there or towards me. I just don't think that this is the safest way of going about it, but if you're comfortable with it, by all means, it's still going to do an effective job of keeping your chains in place. So taking a closer look at it, you can see that it is really high forged steel. Now this has a working load limit of 9,200 pounds. That is below my chains capacity, which is 11,300 pounds. So we need to go off that 9,200 pounds. Now pairing this up with more chains on this mini excavator and we're gonna be just fine, but that is something to keep in mind. Go with whichever is the lowest between your binder and your chain. Now when it comes to choosing the right size chain, it all depends on your load and what you haul most often. So here's three common ones that we see a lot. I have a 5 16 a 3 8 and a half inch. And they come in all varieties of lengths. Usually the half inch, those are gonna be in the more the 20 foot and up, where the 3 8 and 5 16 those can be down to like 10 and 16 foot. I think that this style you know, probably about a 4,700 pound working load limit with this one from Titan Chain. This one's 6,600 pounds, and this one is 11,300 pounds. So if you're using your chains in the right configuration, um, one in all corners, if you have a boom putting it in place there, you can get away with using a chain that doesn't by itself hold your load in place. But working those together is when we get that working load limit up there. So. I find that it's easier to use these smaller chains to maneuver them around, store them. I kind of prefer this style, something right in the middle. This 3 8 is really nice because it can fit down in my stake pocket just fine. So you can see there, I think this is a really good setup. But this one's not as difficult to maneuver around as this heavier one, but if you have the need to get up there with those heavier loads, this is a really good way to go. Now, this mini came in today with quarter inch chains. Now, if they use the proper amount of these to hold it in place to those working load limits, then you're definitely gonna be okay. But something you wanna start checking out before you head out on your load is making sure you don't have any damaged links. So the chains that came in today didn't have any issues. Um, but that is definitely something we've seen before where these links start bending and stuff just starts wearing out. You know, after a while with these are holding those loads down and they're rubbing up against one another, you can start seeing some signs of wear and it's just not a safe way to go.
The minimum reach on the hooks is 21 inches, so we got to keep that in mind whenever it comes to when we're hauling our loads. You can see here we've plenty of space here to make this work. And the handle is 14 inches long, so that gives us a good amount of leverage, but as you can see, I needed a little bit more. I needed to grab that pipe. You could get away with a shorter one, but you're probably going to need a little assistance to get this on and off. And I think that's where this one for me, it's just, it's just not worth it. I like the ratcheting style better. It takes a little bit more time to put those in place, um, but they're safer. You know, it's easier to get them in place. This just takes a lot of effort. Now I got to carry an extra pipe around with me to get these on and off. And it's just not ideal, but overall it still does a good job. It's just not as easy to use in my opinion. But that's gonna do it for our look at the Titan Chain Lever Style Chain Binder.